Hey, what's up guys, Alex here. Thank you for checking this video and welcome to another episode about SaaS. This episode is brought to you by HostGator, the powerful, easy and affordable web hosting. If you're confused by virtual hosts, server settings and database configurations, HostGator is the solution for you with 24 seven support, award-winning tools and one-click script install options. Get your own domain today and use the promo code HALICAD to get 25% off. In this tutorial, we're gonna complete the lesson that we started in the previous video about all the type of loops that we can use inside SAS. And the last loop that I wanna show you is the each loop that in my opinion is the most powerful one, is the one that I use the most to create really short loop to generate a great starting point for our CSS framework. So let's take a look. First of all, let's delete all the stuff that we did previously in the previous lesson we don't need to check those things and now we have to take care of checking the each loop so the syntax of the each loop since version 3.3 of sas is pretty simple but pretty great first we start with an at symbol and then we write each to initialize the loop and then we can define the key the value of an array inside by writing in, we specify the type of array, and then we can start our loop, of course, with the uh, um, curly brackets. So we have the each to initialize the loop, then we have the key and the value of a specific array. And this each is gonna loop as many time, as many uh, value, as many attributes are inside this array, and we can define custom variable to store every time we loop the key and the value of a specific array. So let me show you an example on how to use this each loop to create a really simple color scheme for our custom CSS frameworks. For, so for example, if I want to create quick classes with attributes for text colors, background colors, or border colors, we just defining one time the type of classes that I want to use. So let's start, for example, defining a couple of variables that are the variables of our color. So first, let's define the typical white variable that it's of course, FFF, and then we can define the black color that is 000, and then we can go with red that is hash F00, and then we can go, for example, with primary color that can be whatever type of color we want. So in my case, it's going to be a type of gray, so CCC. And then we can go with the last color that could be like secondary. And let's say that secondary is a darker type of gray. So let's go 333. All these variables are uh, totally up to you. I'm defining these because are kind of the most common variables that someone defines when it starts color scheme for its own theme. So now it's time to create an array with all the colors. And of course, if we have an array of colors, we're gonna call the array colors. And inside here, we can of course define an array. An array we key and value in SAS is defined with the simple brackets, not the square brackets or the curly brackets, just simple brackets and of course a semicolon at the end. So let's define this array by defining first the key. And my key is white because I need the color white and the value of the white is actually the variable white that is gonna return the color that I defined inside the variable. So FFF that it's actually white. Let's put a comma and let's add all the other colors in an order list. Perfect. As you notice here, I didn't specify any comma at the end of the last attributes of my array because it's not like PHP that we can put a comma at the end of an array. If we put a comma, we could trigger an error in our SAS compiler. So now we have all the variables declared with our colors and the colors array with all the variables inside associated to a specific key that reflects the name of the color that we're gonna use. So that's perfect. Now with this array, we can create our awesome each loop. And as I said before, we can use this syntax in this way. So at symbol each for every key and values inside an array, we have to loop it. So for every color with the hex that stands for hexadecimal 
type of declaration that is this one the x value inside in the colors array we can start the loop so these two variables i created these two variables so you can name these however you want if you want to name it like name and color you can do it just remember to use this so basically this is the key and this is the value so every time we loop inside this array the first one is going to return color is going to be white and the hex is going to be hash fff the second one the second time we loop the color is going to be black and the hex is going to be zero 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 does it make sense let's create a super simple example for example i want to create a class called text so something like that a class called text white that has a color of white i want to create this type of class and it's just a really simple class i can just write it but then i realized that while i'm coding my theme or while i'm coding my website i need this type of text dash name of color for every colors I define here. So I can use text dash black, text dash red to customize the aspect of a specific element by just adding a simple class with the respective color that I wanna use. Instead of manually write color by color, I can simply write a custom CSS attribute declaration inside this each loop in this way, dot text hyphen to access a variable inside a loop as I said before, in a previous lesson, we have to use the pound or number symbol, curly brackets, and then the name of the variable. In our case, we want to use the key that is color. We define this variable to use the key. So it's going to be white or black or red or primary or secondary. And then here we can declare the actual attribute that is going to be color. And inside it's going to be hex that is the value that we're returning as you notice here i'm not using this format pound and then the, scur the curly brackets to print a variable because i'm just printing the variable i don't need to concatenate the variable or use it as a text inside a css declaration i can just simply print the variable as it is inside the attribute so if we save it and we wait for our sas compiler to do the magic and we access the style.css file. Look what we got here. We have text white with the color of FFF. And actually here I made a mistake. This is actually the CSS declaration is color, not color in uh, Canadian English. Access back the style.css compile. Here we have now text white with the color associated to the white variable, black, red, primary, and secondary. And did you see how easy it is to generate a color scheme or a basic color framework for our CSS with just one single loop and one single style declaration? And we can do exactly the same to define background colors or border colors or H colors or whatever you want. So let me give you another example. If I want this to be, uh, let me create a little bit of space so it's center aligned. If I want this to have, for example, background, hyphen and also in this case I want the name of the color so I can call the class however I want and here I want the background color to be the hexadecimal value save it let's go back in a style.css look what we got here we have text white that has a color of white and then background white with the color of white and then we have the same declaration with different names for all the colors we have here and when we have this defined and we're coding our theme we're coding our website we decided at one point we actually our primary color is not ccc anymore but has to be another type of color we have to only change the variable so if i decided the primary color now is going to be 4f 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 and i save it i have to just change the variable and automatically all my declaration with text primary background primary are gonna 
get the updated variable and my code and my CSS attributes are still gonna work in my HTML. I don't have to touch any of those because I have to just update one single variable to reflect all the changes in my framework thanks to the each loop. It's pretty much it for today's lesson. This was a super quick lesson, but that's how easy and quick it is to learn and use the each loop in SAS. So uh, experiment it, let's try it, have fun with it, create as many variables as you want, create an array and use the key and the value of that array to generate all your custom classes. And if you notice here, this structure is pretty useful also for media queries or grid systems. So you can really extend your CSS frameworks with just a couple of each loop by dynamically generating a gigantic CSS style sheet. Thank you so much guys for checking this video. I hope you enjoy. If you did, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. And if you want, you can spend a couple of minutes to check the support me page on my website where you can find all different ways and methods to support me, support my channel and help me to do better videos and better tutorials for you. Thank you again guys. And until the next lesson, as usual, happy coding.